until he rises. He cannot be saved at, by the bell except in the last round. Ben Venuti has had 81 fights. He's won 78, lost two, and had one draw. Knocked out 32. He's never been stopped. Dick Tiger has had 78 fights. He's won 59, lost 16, and has drawn three times. He's knocked out 26. He was stopped once by Bob Foster for the light heavyweight title last year. I'd like you to notice that uh, Tiger is a good, solid puncher. Uh, very often, however, he gives the impression of leading, but doesn't. And Benvenuti is going to circle Tiger, take pot shots at him, and faint a lot. Okay, Don, and we're just about ready for the action here at Madison's Garden, uh, Square Garden. On your left, you will see Dick Tiger in the um, light trunks, and on our right, in brilliant red, the darker trunks will be Nino Benvenuti. And in the center of the ring, Johnny Evans. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Right here are two top contenders for middleweight championship honors. Louis Rodriguez. And former... Welterweight and middleweight champion, Emil Griffith. Here is two-ton Tony Galento. And ladies and gentlemen, retired, undefeated heavyweight king, Rocky Marciano. For Rocky, ladies and gentlemen, 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. The date, Monday night, June the 23rd. Joe Fraser will defend his heavyweight crown against Jerry Quarry of California. Tickets are now on sale at the box office. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Joe Armstrong and Al Burrell. The timekeeper, Fred Abatello. Counting for the knockdowns, Barney Smith. The referee for the main event, Joe P Tony Perez. Ten rounds. Introducing from Biafra, wearing white trunks, he weighs 166, former middleweight and light heavyweight king, Dick Tiger. His opponent from Trieste, Italy, he's wearing black trunks. He weighs 164, the middleweight champion of the world, Nino Benvenuti. Main event, 10 rounds. A four-round bout will follow. Tiger Benvenuti, you both were here before in New York. You should be familiar with the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. I'm here to enforce them. In the event of a knockdown, the other guy must go to a farthest neutral corner and stay there until I tell you to come out fighting. Three knockdowns in any one round will end the fight right there. The bell will not save any fighter from being knocked out. If bell safe and the fighter is on the floor, I must keep counting. All right? Any questions? Good luck, check hands, and good luck to both of you. We're just about ready to go in the black trucks. The man that you will hear identified as Nino, Nino, Nino Benvenuti in the white trunks. It's the former light heavyweight champion. Heavier by two pounds here tonight, 66 to 64. That is Dick Tiger, Don Dunphy. Thank you, Win Elliott. Good evening, everyone. Ben Venuti, the taller of the two by about three inches. He's going to putt shot with that left hand. And somewhere during the bout, if it goes that far, Ben Venuti is going to use an uppercut, which is an almost forgotten punch in boxing today. You'll notice that Dick Tiger will uh, move in that circle. And uh, Ben Venuti will circle him. Tiger sets himself to punch. He's deadly with the left hand, which he often uses as a club. 
Ben Venuti will do a lot of fainting. Be very casual on defense sometimes. On defense, Tiger will keep his gloves close to his body. Nobody's landed a solid punch yet. Benvenuti is just flicking that left hand. Trying to find an opening. And Tiger brings up the crowd with the first good punch, that left hook. Tiger's a sentimental favorite. He's had 16 fights in the Madison Square Gardens and has always given his best. This is Ben Venuti's third fight in the Madison Square Garden. One of his title fights with Emil Griffith was at Shea Stadium. Ben Venuti almost casual in his movements at the moment. minute to go in the round. Tiger ahead three to nothing in punches. Ben Venuti got in a good one there. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Tiger will hope that Ben Venuti makes a mistake. And if he does, it could be curtains. Tiger, a very slow starter. Ben Venuti usually starts pretty fast. Ten seconds to go in round one. A good round for Tiger so far. Just as the round ended, Nino Benvenuti got in that familiar one-two. He's as quick as a cat, the young man from um, Italy, the 31-year-old middleweight champion of the world who's come in tonight four pounds over his middleweight uh, uh, title weight. Dick Tiger at 39 in the far corner. You would have to assume that he's going to fight this fight as every fight hereafter as though it were his last. There's no question that he is not on his way up. He's been through the wars. He knows the angles. He's got that crisp left hook he's durable but still let us not forget he's 39 Ben Venuti is 31 quick has that left then gets that sneaky right uppercut he just tested one in there uh, early in the round I thought he deliberately missed with it this is a fight with all kinds of angles as we wait for round two round two at Madison Square Garden this light heavyweight bout Nino Benvenuti, the middleweight champion whose title is not at stake. And the black trunks, Dick Tiger in the white. Tony Perez, the referee. Tiger's real name, by the way, is Richard Ihetu, I-H-E-T-U. And it's Giovanni Nino Benvenuti. On the decibel count of the crowd, the honors are pretty nearly even. Tiger, the sentimental favorite. Ben Venuti, the betting favorite. Tiger, the stalker. Both are good counter punchers. may have slowed up from age, but the way Ben Venuti's fighting me, he could go on forever. Good, 
Ben Fanuti has the speed, but he's not using it. Benvenuti caught Tiger a good hook on the way in that time. Now Benvenuti has started to open up. Well, that was some exchange. At 30 seconds to go in the round. You can see why Tiger has always been such a popular performer, as is Benvenuti. Ten seconds to go in round two. a very fine fight at the new Madison Square Garden before an enthusiastic crowd. Nino Benvenuti, the middleweight champion. This title is not at stake in the black trunks. And Dick Tiger, former middleweight and light heavyweight champion. He just threw that right and left in the white trunks. Tony Perez, the referee. The feint worked for that for Benvenuti that time, but he missed the punch. He's short with those jabs. Trying to lure Tiger into an opening. Tiger has been effective with that looping overhand right to the head. I doubt it that's a knockdown. No knockdown. Nino comes up smiling. He was thrown off balance. Tiger wanted to shake hands. This is a 10-round bout. Benvenuti seems to be fighting it as though it were a 15-round bout. Good surge by the Tiger. There is determination on Tiger's face and solidity in his punches. Jabs are barely getting in. And Tiger is good counter. Thirty seconds to go on the round. As 
they say in boxing, Benvenuti can't seem to get off. Ten seconds to go in round three. gone by Tiger and Benvenuti and it's been the tortoise and the hare Madison Square Garden the scene of this light heavyweight bout Dick Tiger of Biafra the white trunks Nino Benvenuti of Italy in the black and Madison Square Garden will be the scene on June 23rd for the heavyweight championship fight between Joe Frazier and Jerry Quarry Tiger has completely dominated the fight so far. Benvenuti taller by three inches. Eight years younger at 31. Benvenuti is keeping Tiger away with those jabs, even though not all of them are landing. But he's not making the follow-up punch count. Now Benvenuti has changed his style. He's starting to crouch and bob and weave a little bit. Trying to set Tiger up for the right hand. Tiger wouldn't be set, and Benvenuti smiles at the maneuver. Benvenuti is starting to get tagged with sucker punches. You can see that determination on Tiger's face. It's awesome. Ben Venuti remains calm. And he has a good sense of humor. seconds to go on the round. Benvenuti showing signs of life with 10 seconds to go on the round. I don't think it's out of pure joy. We're ready to go. Round five. Round five at Madison Square Garden. Dick Tiger coming out, clubbing his gloves together. Former middleweight and light heavyweight champion. 166 pounds, white trunks. Nino Benvenuti, 164 pounds, black trunks. Benvenuti's middleweight title, not at stake in this bout. Benvenuti started to show signs of life in the last round. Jabs by Benvenuti, nine tenths of them are short of the mark. Tiger just got in a good a popper. The chant of Nino, Nino in the background. Ben 
Benvenuti was tagged and roughed into the rope. A left uppercut by Benvenuti. Now there's one for you. He often turns that jab into a hook. Then he turned it into an uppercut. Benvenuti has been loath to trade punches with Tiger, who apparently is the harder hitter. Benvenuti, the better boxer. No damage done on the inside. Change. 30 seconds to go in the round. Ten seconds to go in round five. Good punch by Benvenuti. mark of this 10 round bout at Madison Square Garden. This is round six. Nino Benvenuti, the taller of the two in the black trunks. Dick Tiger in the white trunks. They have written a Tiger's fistic obituary on more than one occasion, but here he is in our main event and uh, unofficially he's, he's ahead at this point. It's a 10 round bout. No knockdowns. Tony Perez, the referee, getting them apart, and Tony's doing a good job. Benvenuti caught Tiger that time with a solid hook. Benvenuti has gone flat-footed now to get more power in his punches. Tiger always fights flat-footed. Benvenuti's trying to set him up for that right hand again. Benvenuti rode that one out. Benvenuti's corner, they're screaming at him in Italian.
again Tiger taking charge and Ben Venuti is not smiling at the moment he's deadly serious as he realizes this could slip away from him 30 seconds to go in the round Ben Venuti claiming a low blow referee didn't agree 10 seconds to go in round six. And so now we approach round seven. Round seven in Madison Square Garden. You know Ben Venuti, black trunks, Dick Tiger in white. Tiger is keeping those gloves up pretty high in front of the face now. Making it tough for Ben Venuti's jab to get in there. And Ben Venuti showing a healthy respect for Tiger's counterpunchers. And the crowd is a bit subdued at the moment. seems to have a cut over the left eye it's off to the side where the slit is on the left side of the left eye first blood of the fight and Nino was driven into his own corner by that shot got good punches in. Tiger shook his head after taking the hook. seconds to go on the round and Tiger is giving Ben Venuti a going over at this point ten seconds to go in round seven Madison Square Garden Nino Benvenuti the middleweight champion whose title is not at stake black trunks Dick Tiger former middleweight former light heavyweight champion on the white trunks I was about to say the aged Tiger has dominated the fight he has dominated it but he's He's far from aged the way he's fighting tonight at 39 years of age. Benvenuti, 31. Another big one, June 23rd in Madison Square Garden. 
Joe Frazier, Jerry Quarry for the heavyweight championship of the world. the old tiger that was the tiger of old that time it, round is half over round eight of a ten rounder and a, a ten round semi-final Don Fulmer defeated Juarez de Lima in a good fight Don, the brother of former middleweight champion Gene Fulmer. When Benvenuti misses, he doesn't even come close. Tony Perez getting them apart. 30 seconds to go on the round. A cut by the left eye of Benvenuti has gotten no worse. Quick right hand by Benvenuti. Real quick. 10 seconds to go on round eight. as we go to nine rounds. Round nine of a ten-rounder. Benvenuti, black trunks, tiger and white. Two rounds to go. Might say, when Elliott, that Jersey Jones, the manager of Dick Tiger, is in his 57th. That's five, seven years in boxing. times uh, Tiger looks as though he's landing but uh, Benvenuti's very cute on the inside at blocking and holding <laughs> Benvenuti looking a little better in this round but it's late in the game Two minutes to go in this round. Ah, there was the right uppercut. First time tonight by Benvenuti. making pretty good use of the jab. Benvenuti scoring more often with it. Fine exchange in Benvenuti's corner. Noticing uh, Ben Venuti with that right hand has been slapping with it more than throwing it. 30 seconds to go in the round. <laughs> Ten 
seven seconds to go in round nine. Tiger was almost roughed by that punch. He wavered for a moment. Well, we've only got the round to go. The pressure to take it. We'll find out. Three minutes to go. Coming up. Round 10, final round, Tony Perez has them touch gloves. Ben Venuti, the black trunks, Tiger and White, there have been no knockdowns. We'll have a, an interview with the winner after the fight. Again, the scoring in New York on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system. If the rounds come out even on an official's card, the vote by the referee, Tony Perez. And the judges, Joe Armstrong and Al Burrell. Two minutes left in what has been a most interesting fight. Mr. Bromberg of the New York Post, the fine boxing writer, just made an interesting observation. Maybe Tiger could take off six pounds and fight for the middleweight title. Maybe Lester has a point against Benvenuti, of course. As when Elliot has said, uh, well, neither one seems to have slowed up in this fight. Tiger! <laughs> Tiger scored with a looping right, but ran into a solid left hook. A minute to go. screams low and the referee Tony Perez agrees with him and tells Tiger to keep them up <laughs> 10 seconds to go in this 10th and final round Don makes his way into the center of the ring. Of course, we're going to have to get the um, numerology, as it were, from uh, Joe Armstrong, Al Burrell, and the referee. Been in this uh, fight, and it's been my experience that the judges have more of an aversion for even rounds than I do. And if the even rounds should be determined for uh, Ben Benuti, it could make the fight very even indeed. But so far, at least on my card, I have it for Tiger. Tiger, not because he was an overwhelming fighter tonight. He uh, was stolid, uh, not the most imaginative on the offense, but he was in there. He was the aggressor. He nullified Benvenuti's speed. Benvenuti seemed to always be on the very edge, the very lip of taking command, because he had the spryness, the agility, but he just never came on. He just never took command and uh, got the momentum in his favor. Uh, the one uh, visible showing in the fight, the cut, I think it was the result of uh, head work early in the middle of the fight. I think uh, Dick's head came up. Dick, of course, is very popular here in New York, as indeed he should be everywhere. I just noticed Ben Venuti grimaced with his right hand. 
as Dick Tiger went to shake uh, Nino's right hand. He pulled it away. He mentioned something to his corner. When uh, Don is up there, if uh, he can get to Benvenuti, maybe we can find out if Nino had problems with the right hand, whether it was early in the fight or not, I don't know. He is smiling right now, but I would bet that Benvenuti has got something wrong with his right hand. We're awaiting the decision now. Johnny Addy is ready. Let's go up into the center of the ring. Judge, Judge Alvaro scores it. Six, three, one even for Tiger. Judge Joe Armstrong, six to four, Tiger. Tiger the runner. Referee, Tony Perez, seven, two, one even, Tiger. Winner by unanimous decision, Dick Tiger. Dick Tiger is the winner. I'm Don Dunphy in the ring at Madison Square Garden. Here we have a very happy winner. There's our camera over there. Watch it, folks. A very happy winner, Dick Tiger. Thank you. And Dick, congratulations, first of all. Thank you very He's much. He's with uh, Chicky Ferrara, I'm his manager, good. Jersey Jones, yeah, behind me, and Freddie everyone. Brown. Thank and you. Dick, tell us about the fight. He couldn't get to you, could he? Oh, he's a good fighter, but the thing is, you know, I always fight, you know, boxers. He's a boxer. But I tried to get into him so that I'll be able to win the fight. Uh, what will you do now? Uh, just hope for another fight, another good fight. We were wondering if you could take off six pounds and fight Benvenuti for the middleweight title. Uh, I, had to put, I had to think of it. You no, have to think about it. Yeah. Did he hurt you at any time? Yes, yeah, some of the times he hurt me, yes. I thought you got off fast in the first three rounds and built up a big lead, mm -hmm. and you held it from then on. Thank you. I know he's a, a boxer, so I had to press him. Do you, do you feel you hurt him at any time? Sometimes I hurt him, and he hurt me sometimes. You know, that goes to the fight. Well, Dick, congratulations. Now, uh, I'm puzzled here. I'd, I'd like to ask Jersey Dick, Jones. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jersey, will he fight for the middleweight title against Ben Venuti or the light heavyweight title against Bob Foster? Well, frankly, if he could make 160, I'd be for Benvenuti for the middleweight title. And incidentally, New York got something tonight that London or Rome almost got. Because Jack Solomons was very interested when Dick held the light heavyweight title to match him with Benvenuti. And neither London nor Rome. Jersey, I'm going to try to get Benvenuti over here. Pardon me, Chicky. Dick, thank you very much and congratulations. Nino. We're going to get a picture of this right hand. It's all swollen. Oh, uh, when did you hurt it? In the first round. In the first round? Yes, in the last, the first round. I am... Good, good Will you shot move back the... a little, fellas, yeah. please? The camera's over here. That's... The, the right, the straight right, and I broke. I... See? The back hand. The Broken fracture. in there? The fracture. Yeah. I noticed you weren't punching Sal. You were flicking with it. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Well, uh, what, what, what would your plans be for the future? I don't, I don't think, I don't, uh, I don't watch think that I, I, I lost. You lost the fight? No, I lost. For me, I didn't win. Do, do you think you won? Yes, it's, uh, thank you, won. I, I don't like that it's, uh, it's the decision. You didn't like the decision? No, uh, no. It was pretty unanimous, oh, you know. No, unanimous, yes, but I, I don't. I don't have the uh, position. He didn't hurt take, you. I don't take it one punch. No, nothing. Did you hurt him? Yes, I want the. I want the. I would like the repeaters this fight. Well, now, Nino, oh. during the, why do you smile when you get hit? Uh, when you smile? You smile. Why do you smile when you get hit? We were talking about that. Yes, I, I smile everything. Every center. Well, now, always. you don't know what you'll do. Oh, I don't. What did he say? What will he do in the future? What will he do in the future? Oh, in the future, uh, the fighter. Will you fight well, yeah, Tiger he again? Will fight. He will fight. <laughs> in the first round. Yeah.